G'day everyone, it's Farmer Jay and welcome back to Dairy Air Farms. Today I'm going to try and answer a viewer question. Well, it's not so much a viewer question as a question I see get asked all the time, whether it's on Discord or in the forums, especially from North American players who watch people like Millennial Farmer or Laura Farms, or who are just familiar with various systems of measure that we have in North America. And that is, why are we limited to liters and not bushels? Um, if you're anything like, well, I grew up on a farm, as uh, you know, and for me everything was in bushels or pounds or tons, or gallons, typical North American system of measurement. And if you watch, like I said, Millennial Farmer or Laura Farms, you'll know that they still use, as we in Canada, we still use the imperial system of measurements when it comes to farming. And that's just because farmers are familiar with it. So, the question is, I watch Millennial Farmer and when he's doing his corn harvest, he gets, let's say, 180 bushels per acre. Most people have no idea what that translates into in liters. So why can't giants program the game so that we have a conversion table that when we look at our combine, it will tell us how many bushels are in the tank instead of how many liters. That way when I'm harvesting in game, um, and I know I've done so many acres because the game does allow us to convert to acres, but when I've done so many acres, I don't have a realistic reference because I don't know how many bushels that is. I don't know if I'm getting 180 bushels or 200 in 10 bushels an acre, like Welker Farms or Laura Farms or one of those other YouTubers. And I, I want to say it's a simple answer. The simple answer that most people give is because Giants is a European country and they deal in metric and that's why the game is in metric or measured in metric. But that's not entirely true because the counter argument to that goes Giants has given us miles, they've given us the ability to convert to acres, and we can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit, which is fair enough. But when we start getting into crops, another product in the game, the answer is actually quite a bit more complicated. A bushel is the basic system of measurement for certain crops. I'm not going to say all crops, and stay tuned to find out why I'm not going to say all crops. But most grain crops get measured in bushels. And if you go to the futures market in North America, you will usually see grain crops traded in bushels and not in liters or tons or any other form of measurement. If you've ever been apple picking, I haven't been for a while and I think you know in Canada they're finally starting to switch over now, but you're typically given a big round wooden basket if you want to pick a bushel of apples. Or you're given a half size bushel basket, so a half bushel. And you can go nuts and you can go apple picking and fill that basket. Once that basket is full, you have a bushel of apples. Same way measurement is for corn, sorghum, or other crops. And I'm just going to line up with this guy to unload and we'll see how many liters we get. So bushels work really great 
for crops, certain crops, like I said. They don't work so well for more delicate crops. When you go strawberry picking, um, they either give you, well, it's obviously a lot smaller basket, but it's usually either a pint or a half pint. Um, some strawberry farms will measure it by pounds. It really depends on where you're going. You're not gonna pick a bushel of strawberries because this big, large bushel basket, well, you fill that, at the bottom of the basket, due to its weight, all you're gonna have is jam. Those strawberries on the bottom will get crushed. So that's why strawberries are measured in pints or quarts as opposed to bushels, just due to the size of the measuring container used. Now, speaking of products like strawberries and, well, not strawberries, but let's, let's switch over to ice cream. Ice cream, much like strawberries, you can buy it by the pint. Um, or a quart or a gallon. It really depends on what you, how much you want to buy. Um, when I was in college, I worked at a temporarily at a Baskin Robbins, and they would buy ice cream by the gallon, the big gallon buckets that you see in the freezer. Now you can also transfer that over to something like um, gasoline or diesel. Um, which in the States you still buy by the gallon in Canada we finally have switched over to well we switched over to leave this a few years back um, <coughs> Canada's really kind of hodgepodge of systems me uh, measurement because we're so close to the States but anyway so a gallon of ice cream is the same as a gallon of diesel in terms of measurement but you're not going to convert that into bushels. No one's ever going to say, I'd like to buy a bushel of ice cream. Though I'm sure somewhere along the lines, you could do the conversion and you could figure out how many gallons of ice cream would fit in a bushel basket, assuming you kept it frozen. Same way as nobody's going to uh, say, hey, I want to sell you 10 gallons of corn. Uh, it's going to be, I want to sell you 10 bushels of corn. And then you know the measurement they're talking about. Hay bales, when we used to bale hay on the farm, it was done, well, you would try and set the baler to a certain weight, but it would depend on how heavy or how dense the grass was that you were baling. So you would set it to the bale size, if that makes sense. Everybody's following so far? It can get even more complicated because there are a ton more systems of measurement, such as pecs and half pecs and oh God knows, it keeps going on. There's all sorts of different forms of measurement. If you want to get even more complicated, a farmer will take X number of bushels of grain, corn or whatever, to the co-op or wherever they're selling it. And from there, it's usually then transported by rail. So you sell a thousand bushels to the local co-op. Well, the co-op then sells it somewhere else. They paid the farmer in bushels but the railroad that's now going to transport that crop is going to charge the co-op or whoever by the ton. Because that's how railroad, railroads work. They don't care how many bushels fit in one of their car, uh, cars. They care about how many tons because they have to figure out how many locomotives they need to pull 
X number of tons of product. So they work on a horsepower to tonnage ratio. So the railroad's grain cars will hold, I'm just going to throw this out there, I think it's about 100 tons uh, for a grain car, maximum weight. Now, 100 tons of one product can take up a lot more volume than 100 tons of another product. As far as the railroads go, there are other factors involved, such as distance that product needs to be hauled from point A to point B, which is usually to the port, where again it is then sold in tons to another country. Makes sense? Everything, it's not really a standard system of measurement. The farmer sells X number of bushels, they get paid for the X number of bushels, but then it gets converted into tons, and it's just a very complicated process. And again, it varies from liquids to solids to different types of solids. Okay, Jay, I can hear you say, that makes sense so far, but it's just the conversion. Well, I can do a very easy conversion for you. Um, a bushel of corn is approximately 35.2 liters. That means something like the John Deere combine, the uh, S790, which holds 14,100 liters of sorry, bushels of product, um, sorry, no liters, I'm getting, I should probably edit. Okay, okay, so that's going to make the blooper real, but, so a bushel of corn is 35.2 liters. Simple math, right? Well, then you look at something like gallons, like we talked about as well. Um, you're talking about an imperial gallon or a UK gallon um, gets a little bit more complicated. There's four point. Okay, I just checked my math. That's why I put it on pause. But um, there's three point seven eight five four one liters in a US gallon. That's another complex. Oh, fair, well, I mean. Once you've got it programmed, it's not that complex, but that's a totally different conversion. And it just goes on from there. Now, of course, we could go back to our examples uh, using strawberries sold in pints. Um, how many pints in a gallon? Well, that's a different calculation. And you can see how it just keeps building from there. It gets more and more complicated. So, the easiest thing to do is to standardize on one form of measurement, which is leaders, which giants have done. And again, I keep seeing the response to that. Well, they can convert miles, they can convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, and they can convert hectares to acres, and those are all available to us in our game settings. Yeah, but those are three simple settings that require three different lines of code you start adding in all these different for other forms of measurement and it starts getting a hell of a lot more complicated. You start needing a line of code for this and you need a line of code for that and you need another line of code for this and you need another line of code for that and at the end of the day it's a 
pain in the butt for the programmers, but it's also a pain in the butt for us as a game player. Okay, so I have um, the, my greenhouse just produced so many gallons, uh, sorry, uh, pints of strawberries, but it didn't produce any pints of lettuce because lettuce in North America isn't sold by the pint, it's sold by the head. And let me just unload my combine. Anyway, the point is, the further you go, the more complex it gets. And the more lines of code are needed. Now, having said that, the one thing that Giants has done in Farming Simulator 22, um, which they didn't really do in any of the other games, is they've added a weight to all the products. Um, so if, depending on whether you have it turned on or off, this uh, chaser bin or this auger wagon, whatever you want to call it, would have a certain weight limit set to it. So it can hold X number of tons. And you can turn that on and off and it will tell you when you've reached that number of tons. You will also notice that bales of hay, um, pallets of wool, pallets of grape juice, they all have a weight associated with them now. So it kind of gives you um, a little bit more of a system of measurement than just saying X number of liters. Now bear in mind that is again metric tons, not imperial tons, but that's beside the point. At least we now have a rough common measurement that we can go by. Alright, so based on that, uh, I just spawned, I cheated in, I spawned two pallets. The first one is wool, the second one is planks. Obviously wood is going to be a lot heavier than wool. And if we go up to it, see we have a um, thousand liters of wood, which is 1.1 tons. We have exactly the same amount. We have a thousand liters of wool here, but it's only 580 kilograms. So it's a lot less in terms of weight. And right off the bat, I can hear the next question, which is, why is a thousand liters of wool double the volume of a thousand liters of wood if we're using liters as a volume of measurement? It's a good question, but if you want to use the old adage, which weighs more, a ton of feathers? or a ton of coal. They both weigh exactly the same amount. It's just that a ton of feathers would take up a, a lot more space than a ton of coal because coal by density is very heavy. Okay, I'm just going to throw this in, not to confuse you any further, but here we have a thousand liters of flour, which weighs 230 kilograms. The wool weighs more, but takes up more space. And the pallet of wood or planks takes up less space, but weighs more than either of the other two. I'm going to try and simplify it a little bit further. If you take a liter of water and you freeze it, well, ice takes up a lot more space than water does. So what was a liter of water 
still technically is a liter of ice, but it takes up almost, well, I won't say double, but maybe a third more space than the liter of water does because water expands when it's frozen. So essentially what giants have done is they have settled on a base measurement which can be used across the board doesn't matter whether you're measuring liters of grain liters of flour liters of wood it is the base measurement assuming that you can comp could in reality compact everything to fit into a one liter bottle That would all depend on compression and various other factors. But to call a liter a liter, it's simple. It keeps measurements simple. It enables us to keep track of roughly our productions and keep them on a equal playing field. So we could take 14,000 liters of sorghum that we just harvested and turn it into X number of liters of flour. A liter of flour is slightly lighter than a liter of sorghum, but it gives us a reference point. And if you watched my video on how the game takes units of measurement to set the price for everything that's why so to answer the question for sure if giants really wanted to they could sit down and they could take i don't know how much time it would take but they could take a bit of time and they could convert that trailer full of sorghum into bushels and we would know how many bushels per acre we're harvesting the same as you know uh, like I said millennial farmer does or something like that wood uh, it's sold by the court um, huh. that's the catch right there a quart of wood takes up a lot more volume than a quart of something else and it's a lot denser too so it's a complex balancing act and to keep everything simple Giants is gonna stick with leaders in terms of measurement they're not gonna add hundreds of lines of code just so that we can have imperial measurements in the game miles to kilometers Celsius to Fahrenheit and acres to hectares are really easy. There is no fluctuation between those. An acre to a hectare is the same measurement no matter what. Liters? Well, it gives us a base standard to go by. So we know roughly what we're producing. And it's going to be the same for well it's going to be roughly the same for anything across the board in terms of a standard measurement or as close as you can get to a standard measurement so for that reason and that reason alone giants is never going to switch from liters to bushels to pints to gallons to oh whatever you want to measure it by make sense if you're still confused don't worry it took me a lot of time to wrap my head around it too and it wasn't until I stumbled across 
two different packages in the store that were giving roughly the same weight or same quantity let's say we'll use liters and one said liters by volume and one said liters by weight very very confusing but that's why I said don't expect giants to switch over to quarts gallons bushels or anything else because it'll just make the game even more confusing thank you for watching and have a great day jay